Hello student, in previous lecture we have studied the some important property and uses of some organic compounds. The last point in the carbon compound chapter is the macromolecules and polymers. Today I will teach to you the next point in the chapter is the macromolecules and polymers. You know that carbon compounds are occur in very large in number. Again, you know that generally carbon compounds have a high molecular weights. Such type of high molecular weight compound which is made up from thousands of hundreds of thousands of atoms. Such compounds are called as the macromolecules. What are the macromolecules? The molecule which having the high molecular weight, the molecular weight near about 10 to power 1 to 10 to power 12. High the molecule, the gent or it also defined like the gent molecule, the gent molecule is formed from the large number of atoms which having the high molecular weight. Such compounds are called as the macromolecules. These macromolecules is classified into two types. One is the natural macromolecules and second is the man-made macromolecules. Natural macromolecules and second is the man-made or artificial macromolecules. What is the natural macromolecules? The natural, the macromolecules which is obtained from the natural sources like plants and animals. Such molecules are called the natural macromolecules. And what is the man-made or artificial? The macromolecules which is manufactured or prepared in the laboratory by the treatments of chemical or from the chemical compounds. Such co macromolecules are the man-made or artificial macromolecules. For example, the natural macromolecule example is the first is the polysaccharide generally the polysaccharide contain the starch cellulose is the best examples of polysaccharides which having the high molecular weights second one protein you know that protein is called as the bodybuilding substance this protein contains alpha amino acids. Third is the nucleic acid. Nucleic acid, they contain the DNA and RNA. And last one is the rubber, which is extracted from the latex of rubber, rubber tree. This is the examples of natural macromolecules. Artificial or man-made is the first is the plastic, nylon and third is the elastomers is the best examples of man-made or artificial macromolecules because these molecules is prepared in the laboratory by using the chemicals. Hence, it is called as the man-made or artificial macromolecules. You remember, generally all artificial macromolecules is manufactured by the polymerization reaction. Which reaction? Polymerization reaction. Plastic, nylon, elastomers such type of macromolecule is prepared by polymerization reaction. What is the polymerization reaction? You remember in the polymerization reaction, the substances used are called monomer and the substances formed after the polymerization reaction are called polymer. What is the monomer? The smallest unit or the organic compound which having the low molecular weight 
for example ethylene is heated at specific temperature and pressure takes a large number of ethylene again indicates the large number of ethylene molecule is taken it is heated under the pressures it undergoes the addition reaction and to form a continuous chain of ethylene molecule to form a high molecular compound called polyethylene in this examples ethylene is called as the monomer and polyethylene is called as the polymer how to define the monomer the small unit is repeated again and again in the reaction and to form a high molecular weight substance the molecule is called as the monomer what is the polymer the high molecular weight compound is formed from the smaller units this high molecular weight compound is called as the polymer now what is the polymerization reaction the reaction in which monomer is converted into polymer the reaction is called as polymerization reaction remember this polymer compound further classified into two types the classification of polymer compound this polymer compound is classified into two groups first is the homo polymer and second is the co polymer what is the homo polymer the polymeric compound is formed from the single monomer only one monomer are called homo polymer here polyethylene is the best examples of homo polymers example of homo polymer is polyethylene because in this polyethylene it is formed only from the single monomer ethylene what is the copolymer the polymeric compound which is formed from the two or more than two monomers such compounds are called as the copolymer example is the pet what is the name for pet polyethylene pentane this pet compound is formed from the more than two monomers hence pet is an example of copolymers i understand how will co copolymer and copolymer the polymeric compound which is formed from the single monomeric compound are called homopolymer and copolymer the polymeric compound is formed from the more than two polymeric compound are called copolymers the next example some example is given in your books in the tables is the first examples of polymeric compound second is the vinyl chloride ch2 double bond chcl the monomer is called as the vinyl chloride is undergoes the polymerization reaction it form a polyvinyl chloride n times this n indicates the large number of vinyl chloride this n indicates the continuous chain of vinyl chloride this called as the poly vinyl chloride next one styrene c6h5ch double bond ch2 styrene undergoes the polymeric reactions it form a c6h5ch ch2 n times polystyrene next acronitrile ch2 ch double bond cl 
n times undergoes the polymeric reaction it form a ch2 ch cn poly acryl nitrile is the acryl nitrile next one polypropylene ch3 ch double bond ch2 ch3 ch ch2 n times polypropylene this is the n times propylene last one the teflon cf2 double bond cf2 n times yf 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 yeah yeah thanks okay flow all these are the examples of homopolymers polyethylene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene polyacrylonitrile polypropylene teflon is the best examples of homopolymers and you remember another table is given in your books the polysaccharide contains the which is the monomer glucose is the monomers in proteins alpha amino acid is a monomer or single unit nucleic acid contain the dna and rna dna contain the which is the monomer deoxyribo nucleic phosphate ribo nucleic phosphate is the monomer in case of rna in a rubber isoprene is a monomers such type of table is given in your books and some uses is given in in the table what is the uses of polyethylene you remember the property of the polymer depends upon the nature and structures of monomers therefore the polyethylene used up for making the bag as well as making the the cloths next one the pv polyvinyl chloride is useful for making the pvc pipe door mats and bag and tube in the hospitals next polystyrene is useful for making the thermocol next polyacrylonitriles are useful for making the the winter cloth and blankets polypropylene is useful for making the injection syringe and furnitures teflon is useful for the making the coating utensils then this is the uses of the polymers the question may be asked in the examination define macromolecule natural macromolecule artificial or man made macromolecules define the polymer reactions define monomer polymer homopolymer and copolymers and sometimes question will be asked write the uses of polyethylene polypropylene polystyrene polyacrylonitrile and polypropylene and teflon such type of question may be asked in the examination in this way in this this chapter thank you